Um, my street's a pretty normal street, but when night comes, there's, it's pure noisy and there's a lot of gangs. I can't go to the shops on my own because um, there's violence and people are drunk up there. It's too dangerous. Like at football nights when the matches are on, there's everybody shouting and it's just not very fun. You're always stuck in the house and you're not able to go out and play when everybody's shouting at you. This is our final part of the project where 200 primary children all over the east end of Glasgow took part in a project to let adults know how it feels to be a child growing up in this area. And we're 19 artists from five, from five schools and we're here to make a mural. And it's to include all the ideas of the 200 kids who took part. As well as the painting the mural, we're going to have a soundscape where we've done like paper mache bricks and you're going to lift up a brick and it's going to be our poems and messages about it. We don't want to show violence in the mural, we just want to show how it feels. If you drink, this is what can happen. Smoke, babies crying, they're all crying. You're just, you think you're having like the time of your life, but they're just sitting there like that. Why? I think alcohol's a real problem because it starts the violence, starts them getting like angry with other people. Most of the children here don't like being around alcohol. There's pubs open when I'm walking to school. How does that make you feel? Scared because I'm walking past drunk people when they're out in the morning and they're drinking. If they get a wee bit worried with millions of drink, well, it's not exactly fun being around it. And when I go to the park and I see a drunk person in the park, it makes me feel kind of unsafe and scared and it makes me go back up the stair so I can't play with my friends. It leaves people out. Sometimes I feel safe in my house, but sometimes I don't. Well, when people come up that my man knows, and I don't really know, they just start arguing and drinking. When I see a drunk person, it makes me feel sad because it just got to, it's just got to ruin everything. Maybe they wanted to have children and feel safe and have a happy family, but they're just ruining for themselves and get them drunk all the time. At the edges of the mural, we are showing the bad stuff that's happening in our community. Gang fights, wood everywhere, people started out the houses. What does that say? Help me. What I don't like about this area is there's lots of gang fighting going on and gangs walking about the street getting drunk. When I see gangs fight, I really feel scared and I really want to run away to a safe place. There's too many gangs because they always get in fights and they're like all drunk and everything. When I see drunk teenagers, it makes me feel scared because I don't, I don't know what they're going to do. Just now when I'm walking past them, I'm just like that. Please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. That's what I'm like. I don't go out at night when the gangs are there because they could they end me and I'm not willing to take the risk. In one of the buildings we painted just back there, um, there's this boy and he started out his house because of all the violence that's happening around his neighbourhood. He doesn't feel like he's actually wanted in the community because of all the violence that's happening around him. If you walk down to my street, you would probably feel a little bit like how I feel because um, there are shops that um, are completely like shut and everything, you know, and like the, smart, the doors are all smashed and all that and open. And you don't know, you just don't know what's, what's in them. Uh, the biggest problem in my area is uh, the noise and the fact that they, there's loads of fights everywhere. When there's a Celtic and Rangers game when I feel really, really um, sad and like unsafe because like people come around with bottles and shouting you learning and stuff like that to them. You just don't want to go out in it and you just don't want to see it and not even hear it. You just wish they could get along with each other even though they're in different teams. He's a Rangers fan and I'm a Celtic fan. But we're still pals. Celtic, Celtic, Celtic fans and Rangers fans just like hit, hit the boss each other and just start fights and 
and why to kill people after it just because they win and it's only a game of football. It's just two rivals with, with men having a kick about a, a football. But it's the point in fighting. As I said, it's only a, a game of football. You can be passionate, but you don't have to put it into violence. Um, it would be better because it's shown up your team. If you're a fan and you like start like singing songs that aren't appropriate and things like that, then you can get your team into trouble. Well, the centre panels are the safe places that we think is really safe for like kids like around about 10 or 11. So they don't get involved with drugs, fighting, violence or drinking. I feel safe in like the community centre because there's like authorised people here. Where I stay, it can be violent, but it's good because there's a lot of good people there that help you in moments when you need them. This mural shows that we don't want to live in a violent place. It, what would make me happy was at the weekend, like they don't drink and it's all quiet and they don't fight. I think children deserve a safe life. We need alcohol and drugs in them. My community can't be safe until people are stopped getting out and drinking and fighting. When I grow up, I'd like to be able to live in this area, but if it continues, the violence and the fighting and stuff, then I'd rather not live in this area. If I have kids, what I want for them is a, a good education and they still live in a safe place where they can go out and play and go wherever they like. Everybody that lives where like people fighting other like they they deserve better. They should stop it.